B lymphocytes are those lymphocytes which mature in the bone marrow as opposed to the thymus. And they produce proteins known as antibodies that can be secreted. This makes the immunity they confer humoral, referring to the Greek word humor for liquid, because liquid which lacks cells, as long as it has antibodies, can actually confer immunity. And so it is these B lymphocytes which produce the antibodies which confer this humoral immunity. Although this isn't as well understood, B lymphocytes are also capable of acting as antigen presenting cells. They could conceivably bind either coronavirus particles or proteins from coronavirus, perhaps originating in dead cells in the debris. And not only could they bind this to the IgM antibody, which serves as a surface receptor, they could then internalize the foreign molecule, break it into peptides, attach a foreign peptide to an MHC2 protein, and then move that to the cell surface where they could present it to T helper cells. Once T helper cells recognized that a body cell had presented a foreign peptide, each of these cells is capable of secreting interleukin local hormones, which would help activate the other. Activated B lymphocytes would then produce antibodies against coronavirus, which could have multiple effects. For one, they could bind the spike proteins, and this would then inhibit the viral spike proteins from interacting with human receptors, blocking their entry into cells. Once antibodies bind antigens, like coronavirus proteins, this encourages cells of the innate immune system to perform phagocytosis. And so therefore these antibodies act in a process known as opsonization. By attaching to a foreign antigen, they encourage its internalization through phagocytosis. B lymphocytes produce antibodies but the base of antibodies can be changed in something known as class switching so that antibodies which all bind the same say spike proteins on coronavirus could then have different bases and be IgM these are the receptors on B lymphocytes and can be secreted in a group of five IgG the primary antibody in blood plasma or IgA, the primary antibody secreted from the body, say in the secretions of the lungs. Because IgM antibodies can be secreted in a group of five, a pentamer with a joining region connecting them, um, they then have a great ability to agglutinate, to bind multiple, say, coronavirus particles and attach them together so that they are no longer independent of each other. They are no longer as mobile as they previously were, and this helps to sequester them and to limit their uh, virulence. Uh, IgM is the antibody that tends to be produced early in an infection. Its production peaks within the first month of infection and its production declines afterwards. And so one can identify someone who has recently been exposed to coronavirus if, if they are making IgM antibodies against. In addition to the IgM, which is secreted as a pentamer with five antibodies joined together, IgG antibodies can be secreted singly. IgG tends to be produced later in the infection and secretion is prolonged for months and its production increases after second exposures. If a blood test showed IgG antibodies against coronavirus, but not IgM, this patient would have had exposure to coronavirus, but not recently. While blood tests have focused primarily on IgM and IgG, 
the antibody IgA can also be produced against coronavirus, and it is released into body secretions, such as the secretions of the lungs, where it binds coronavirus there. Coronavirus makes a number of proteins, not just the red spike protein, and antibodies are developed against a number of different viral proteins, such as the N protein. Antibodies are specific. However, coronaviruses form a family of viruses which share some similarities. While one cannot count on antibodies which are against one strain, say SARS-1, as being effective against uh, SARS-2, COVID-19. Nevertheless, it is observed that some people test positive for antibodies against coronavirus, but really they have never been exposed. It's just that their antibodies against cold viruses, which are different coronaviruses, were similar enough that they may trigger a false positive in certain antibody tests. Finally, one of the symptoms in those whose coronavirus infections are going to be particularly serious is a decrease in lymphocyte numbers. This affects all types of lymphocytes, including B lymphocytes. Their decrease is a sign of a serious coronavirus infection. The reason for this decrease is not yet clear. For example, it is not known whether coronavirus infects and destroys B lymphocytes at the time I am making this video.